patchy uh, in places so it's not down here there is a particular dip in the road that I think it's further along where it, it does flood as well so cars have an issue sometimes getting through um, to me this is built quite built up so with drainage systems already in place there's not a lot of space or room I guess for measures to mitigate that or to improve it so what what, what could be done with that I mean it's quite difficult to for me anyway to think about it and and to think well what could be what could be done to resolve that issue um, But to, to get off with sort of mild weather is, is quite fortunate. I wouldn't want to think that where I lived would, could flood. I mean, if I knew of a storm that was coming because of a news report and the chances of it flooding where I lived are pretty high, I mean, I wouldn't want, that would not be a good uh, feeling to have. And some people have jobs and a situation where they can't just sort of leave and and, and that sort of thing they have to stay um, and that can really interrupt somebody's life and family life and that sort of thing in school and whatever it is I mean the thing that the thing that is the biggest problem here is the normal life that people have the normal life that anybody has whatever stage of life you're at and a lot of people live together with those who are at different stages of life not within their careers but of life here as we live it so all of those things get interrupted things have to be moved around or however people deal with it or or find it a struggle to deal with it so the water isn't really so much of the issue as, as everything else um, so it's quite it's quite fortunate to live uh, in a place where it doesn't just sort of happen like that neither with snow I didn't get sort of shut in because of snow um, or strong winds I guess I mean it's not dead here in terms of the climate but I think on balance we get what we expect so there's this is obviously farmland um, and some of it is flooded. I mean, it, or in particularly rural areas, strong weather conditions do threaten the lives of the livestock and of the crops especially, so that's, that's a harvest wiped out. Anyway, I don't know if that was, but yeah, so that would be the harvest wiped out and the and livestock, some livestock are drowned because of, of flooding, although I guess farmers will try to make changes to the positioning of it and and, uh, and where the livestock is, if, or just transport it to somewhere else. I mean, just to hold the livestock somewhere else in a different location until the, the storm passes over. So. But with, with agricultural products being lost, I mean, that's, that's all income that you can't recover. And, and so that, that can inhibit the profitability of the farm. And who knows what the ins and outs are of, of the supply difficulties and, and what you have to arrange because of that. It can be quite difficult, I guess, to, to make, end meet, make ends meet some years. But there are different ways of farming that don't rely on 100% rely on conditions of the of, of climate from year to year. Different ways of farming and doing livestock that enable it to be done in a way that does avoid those disastrous events that may come along every so often. But one event like that can be enough to destroy the income of a farm, depending on how big it is. Or the funding that a farmer has behind him to to weather that storm and just get through it but 
I don't know I don't know what the long term effects are of flooding on farms but sometimes flood water brings in uh, pollutants sometimes flood water ruins the uh, the soil itself so it's difficult to get the crops going again uh, for some farmers and so yeah it can be devastating but this is a totally different I mean going from a river to a bit of a small industrial estate to this I mean quite a difference in you know, the local infrastructure here is finding um, but it's a good place to walk I think apart from the noise I mean, it was back there not here obviously uh, but on my way home so I think I'll stop there